everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be building a power bi dashboard an interactive power bi dashboard in 15 minutes so if you're ready i'm ready let's get into it the data set is going to be from kaggle it is called netflix movies and tv shows i really love kaggle and if you look at the top right you see where it says download so we are going to download the data set from kaggle the next step is to read the data into Microsoft Power BI desktop and how to do that is just to select get data, select the file, data source. In this case, my data source is going to be a CSV file and then I'm going to read that into the Power BI desktop. Once that's done, it takes you to what we call Power Query. So here is the preview and you have two options. You either load the data directly into Power BI Desktop or you go to Power Query and transform the data. In this case, I'm going to just transform the data just to show you guys a little bit of what Power Query looks like. I will not be doing any kind of transformation on this data set, but I wanted to give you guys a little preview on the Power Query environment in Power BI, which is what we have on screen. This is really great. Um, you can do so much data transformations here in the Power Query, but I will not be doing any data transformation for this. I just want to illustrate how to build an AI Power Dashboard really quickly using Power BI. So I came across some errors as I was loading the data. So I'm kind of troubleshooting to see what the error is. And it appears that there are some columns that have blank or inaccurate data types in them to be honest i'm going to ignore this because again i'm not really doing any serious analysis for this data set outside of just visualizing it and show you guys how to quickly use the ai powered visuals in power bi now that we have the data loaded let's jump into building the dashboard the first thing that i do is create a header and how i do that is by using shapes i'm also going to go ahead and use the color of my choice and also give the header a title Okay, now that that's done, we are introducing the first visual, which is the Q&A. I really like this. I think that it is super, super helpful to help, you know, stakeholders just get really quick answers to whatever questions they have regarding the data sets. If you look really closely, it provides suggestions on questions that you can potentially have about the data set, but you can also go ahead to actually type whatever questions you have and it would provide you immediately with an answer for your question. I think this is completely nice. When I used, when I started out with Power BI, this feature wasn't there, so I'm super excited about this. I think this is definitely changing the game when it comes to building dashboards in Power BI. The next visualization is the decomposition tree. And with this one, it requires you, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, to have one field to analyze and then a number of other fields to explain that by. I'm going to go ahead and populate that section with the fields that I wanted to explain and what it would explain it by. And then once that's done, we can move forward with actually showcasing the visual.
One thing that I really like about it is that it gives you the option to choose either a high or a low value as you guys can see on the screen and it really just follows the same cadence the exact way you put it on the right hand pane that's exactly how it's going to show up on the visual so you have to make sure that you order it properly um, but again if as you can see it would select the high value or the low value depending on how you choose to visual visualize your results So the last visual is key influencers and I really like this and basically if you look on the right hand side of the screen it is requiring a field to analyze and a number of other fields to explain it by. It also You can also include a tool tip but I'm not going to do that in this video but one thing that I really like about the key influencers visual is that it ranks the result based off of the impact on the key fields that we're trying to analyze so basically this is going to be a really great tool to do exploratory data analysis to just get like a really good understanding of the data sets that you're working with and what kind of impacts what and you know where you should kind of focus on if you want to understand the data better another thing that i really like about this field is that you can actually drill down into it and so this is not the only way that you can visualize the data as you can see i now have a bar chart that still explains you know the impact on the target field that i'm looking at i think this is really great and i literally put this dashboard together in about 15 minutes with no prior understanding of this data set and i think that ai is really gonna 10x our productivity and i'm super excited for everything that we can do with it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the very next video